Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Christian Conversion Chats. This week we've got another member of the Gospel Hall along to tell their testimony, to tell how they became a Christian. This week we've got Brianna Monroe. Hi, Brianna. Thanks for joining us. Hi, and um, thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Right, we're just going to start by asking you, where were you born and brought up? Um, well, I was actually born in Fife, um, which is not where I consider myself to be from. Um, none of my family is from Fife, but um, my dad happened to have a job um, for about a year or so in Fife uh, at the time that I was born. So I was born in Kirkcaldy, um, but we moved up uh, to the Highlands um, where my mum's family is from. Uh, when I was about 10 months old, so I was brought up um, in Thurso, um, right on the north coast of Scotland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's interesting to say you were, you were born in Fife, because obviously you're now, now in Fife. Um, yeah. uh, Jonathan was born in Fife, I was born in Fife. Um, so I guess you, you wouldn't have any memories of Fife at that time, but then you moved up to the Highlands, a very beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, it was a really uh, lovely place to grow up in a small town where uh, everybody sort of knows everyone, yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have any brothers or sisters then? Um, yes, I've got one sister, uh, a couple of years younger than me. Um, so we we're really close um, and that was nice to have her growing up as well. Mm -hmm. So you say your family was a religious family? Um, yeah, so my um, my mum and dad are both Christians. Um, my dad is sort of a, a first generation Christian. He um, became a Christian when he was 17 uh, through a friend at school. Um, and then my mum comes from a, a Christian family. Um, so yeah, I was brought up, raised in a Christian home and I'm very grateful for that. I mean, such a a privilege to be uh, brought up to know the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I guess then you you heard the gospel from a kind of early age. So um, what did you kind of understand of the gospel then when you were young and how then that did, did that lead into you actually being saved and becoming a Christian? Yeah. Um... Well, yeah, as I say, um, I was always sort of brought up to know about God, about Jesus. Um, we read the Bible, you know, at home and things and Bible stories. Um, so I was always aware. I can't remember not being aware of these things. Um, and, you know, my parents were always very willing to answer, you know, all my questions when I was younger and things. Um, so, yeah, it was really, you know, my parents, um, the way they uh, brought me up and, you know, I always knew, I was always aware of the fact that I was a sinner, um, you know, from a pretty young age. Um, the gospel was always sort of around me um, in the house, my parents talking about it to people around them. So, you know, I had um, a lot of good influence in, in that kind of way. Um, and yeah, we were brought up going to Baptist Church in Thurso, um, which, um, yeah, was somewhere I, I love to go every Sunday. And um, I had my friends there and um, Sunday school and things like that. Um, so I would say it's difficult for me to uh, have to remember an exact point when I got saved um, but uh, I would say that when I was I think I was about 10 when I sort of made a proper commitment um, my parents helped to run a holiday club for um, children in the summer holidays um, and it was at that when I was, I think, about 10, um, that I sort of came forward and did this um, 
sort of had this chat with some people um, really talked more in depth about things and um, I sort of count that as my you know when I got saved but I guess it was sort of gradual I was um, learning things and uh, maturing in my faith all throughout my childhood really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are your kind of memories of it say for that point about age 10 onwards then for the, in terms of being involved in the church as a Christian and how did that lead on to you becoming baptised and becoming a member of the church? Um, yeah, as I say, um, I went along to um, obviously the services and the Sunday school and the holiday club and things. Um, and um, I think, you know, throughout, I guess, after the age of 10, going on into high school and things, um, I was gradually, I guess, maturing uh, in my faith and, you know, God was sanctifying me. Um, I would still, you know, I look back at that time now and I think, you know, I was such uh, a baby Christian. Um, but um, I was very sure of my faith uh, throughout high school and things. And, um, you know, I tried to share it with my friends, you know, despite being quite a shy person. Um, but yeah, when it comes to baptism, um, I, I didn't get baptised until I was uh, coming towards the end of high school, actually. Um, I'm not sure why I maybe waited so long to get baptised. Um, I think it's maybe just me being cautious and a bit of an overthinker. I think as a child, I was a little bit kind of scared you know what if I do this and um you know I'm not really saved and things like that I think a lot of children uh you know worry about things like that um mm -hmm. but I uh yeah it was towards the end of high school um that I decided to get baptized um and I then became a member of the Baptist Church in Thurzo um, for the, the remaining time that I was in high school. Mm -hmm. So were you involved in, in any of the activities in particular? I know you're quite musical. Was there, any, was there like a band or anything in the church? Or? Um, yeah, so my family, um, we're all very musical. Uh, we all play instruments and sing and things. So. That was one way that we uh, served in our church was uh, doing the music on Sundays, um, playing you know piano and violin and things like that. And um, so I really enjoyed doing that, um, and I still do. Um, and yeah, we were involved in lots of other um, musical uh, things, events, Christian events, and things in our town. Um, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think you were involved in, you mentioned some go trips and things, was that at that point or was that after you went to uni? Or um, That was after I went to uni, yeah. Mm -hmm. So in terms of um, going to uni, um, how did you decide what uni to go to and what to study? Um, yeah, that was a uh... A hard one. I I thought maybe I might want to study music um, originally um, and that would have I think taken me to Glasgow um, but I was also I loved languages um, and in the end I decided um, to study French translation um, and that took me to Edinburgh um, and I'm very glad it did. Um, I really um, felt like, you know, that was where God wanted me to be, um, you know, once I was there. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, God blessed me with so many new Christian friends um, in Edinburgh, um, especially at the Christian Union and at church and things. Um, and that's ultimately where I met Jonathan, my husband as well. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the Christian Union then, um, 
it's quite active, isn't it, the Christian Union uh, at, at Harriet Watt. So, so you want to tell us about some of the things you got involved in, some of the things that you got involved in when you were there? Um, yeah, um, Harriet Watt Christian Union is um, really good. It's, uh, I mean, Harriet Watt is quite a small university, um, but the Christian Union was, you know, quite a decent size compared to how many students are actually at the university. Um, but it wasn't, you know, massive, so it meant that, you know, you got to know everyone really well, and we were all good friends. Um, and we, uh, yeah, got involved in the music there, uh, which was really good. Um, and I also got um, involved in things like the Edinburgh Missions Week, um, where it's a week in sort of January, February time, um, where, you know, they get speakers to come and give sort of talks and seminars and things and it's really a chance to invite your non-Christian friends um, along uh, to hear the gospel and to hear about Jesus and things and um, so yeah that was a really good time. Mm -hmm. um, and you were at uni for a year before Jonathan arrived is that right? Yeah, yeah, I was actually. Um, I am one year uh, ahead of Jonathan. So, um, yeah, I had that first year there um, sort of by myself. <laughs> um, and, yeah, that was great. I um, met a lot of really great friends. Mm -hmm. um, it's, quite, it's quite interesting how you say that you felt God wanted you to be in Edinburgh, and obviously Jonathan at that time was in Fife, you went to mm -hmm. Edinburgh. So, um, we say it's clear then that, like, that God brought two of you across each other's path in that way, at, at uni. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely feel that. Um, I think, you know, obviously when, when Jonathan started um, in that September, um, you know, we became, you know, good friends uh, quite quickly. And um, I definitely, you know, believe that God sort of put him in my life. Um, and um, I think what kind of struck me about him was, you know, his sort of passion to sort of know the truth. Um, he wasn't like... Um, you know, the other boys, I guess, that, that were around. Um, he, you know, really wanted to delve into the Bible and know, you know, what the Bible had to say. You know, it wasn't about, you know, what this person has to say or, you know, this group of people. It was, you know, we really sort of together, I guess, um, you know, asked lots of questions and, you know, try to find our answers in scripture. And um, I think like obviously going to uni and leaving home is um, the time when, you know, people start to ask questions and, um, you know, I guess for me, I realized that there's a big sort of world out there, you know, outside my little small town. There's lots of people with lots of different opinions on everything from, you know, religious things to politics to all sorts of things. Um, and that really kind of opened my eyes. Um, I was very interested in, um, I guess, finding out what, you know, the truth was on certain issues and what I believed about things. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, Jonathan and I, we really sort of clicked um, in that regard. We kind of both wanted to, um, I guess, find out what we really believed about things. And we kind of did that together, which was really nice. Yeah, that's, that's really nice, as you say. You have to actually find out what the, the Bible itself says, says about these things. Um, yeah. And form a conviction based on that. Um, so I think I think you and Jonathan, you went a, a camp together in America, is that right? Um, yeah, we went to, it was Canada. Um, we... Uh, I think it was the, the summer after, so we sort of known each other for a year. We'd been together probably for seven or eight months or something. Um, yeah, we went across to Canada to a, a Christian camp. Uh, we'd heard about it from uh, one of our friends at the Christian Union. 
um, who also went to this camp um, as a leader or counsellor for the children. Um, so that was really good to be involved in. Um, you know, it was on such a big scale, I guess, um, you know, it, there was a lot of uh, funding in it and a lot of, you know, it had been, it was very established and things. And it was very cool to see, you know, a big uh, Christian camp on that scale. Because, you know, up until then, you know, I'd just seen sort of small, you know, little clubs and, and things like that, um, holiday clubs and Sunday schools. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, that was a really good experience um, to experience together as well. Um, and we both had uh, a really great time there, yeah. Mm. And, and what was kind of format of the camp then? Did you have like a team of girls and you were sharing the Bible with them? And... Yeah, um, so I was... Um, I think I was called senior counsellor to my little group. Um, so we'd have, um, you know, a team of, or a, a group of girls, maybe six or eight girls that were um, about eight, nine, ten years old. Um, and they would, I, I was sort of uh, looking after them and we'd be in a cabin together. So we slept outside sort of in these cabin things in the woods, which was, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. but yeah so I would uh, I was their leader for the week that they were there and we would do bible studies together and um, obviously everyone at the camp would come together and there would be you know gospel centered talks and things like that um, and then they'd come back and we'd have discussions and they could ask me questions um, and we'd read the bible together and things and um, so, I mean, as well as, you know, that sort of the talk speaking to them, I mean, it was also good for me as well and really challenged me to uh, make sure that I was, you know, giving them really good answers that were from the Bible um, and helpful. Mm -hmm. That sounds uh, like a good trip. Um, so you mentioned as well that you went on a couple of go trips. You want to tell us where you went and what you were involved with with them? Yeah, so um, Glow Mission is a really, uh, a really good organisation. I did my first um, Glow trip to Hungary, and that was actually just the, the summer before I met Jonathan. Um, so in Hungary, we uh, were based with um, a local church there, a local assembly, and they um sort of hosted us we stayed in the uh the elders um, house with their family um and we were there uh, there was a team of us just to kind of help with um evangelism and things like that um so we would do things out you know in public um handing out tracts and things, gospel, literature. Um, we also did a little bit of uh, sort of drama. <laughs> um, we would do like Bible stories um, for people to watch on the street and they would translate them into Hungarian. Um, I also had my, uh, or someone, ha someone had a violin there um, and they were like, oh, Brianna, will you play you know some Scottish music to attract the crowds so I did that and then once the crowds were all there then they you know were able to preach the gospel to them all in Hungarian uh, which was really cool. Um, the other glow trip that I did was with my family so that one in Hungary was uh, just me um, and a team of people uh, that I didn't really know um, but my family my mum and dad and my sister and I we went to the Czech Republic um, a few summers ago, I think maybe 2017. Um, and we were involved in another GLOW mission there, which was based around English lessons. So um, the, the church um, there in the Czech Republic would uh, sort of offer English lessons for people 
Um, but coming alongside that was then an opportunity to share the gospel with them. Um, so we, uh, I guess, well, we taught them English as best we could. We did some classes. Um, my sister and I did a lot with the children. Um, and yeah, that was really good. Um, and it was really interesting to hear the stories from the church members there, um, you know, just about the past, because obviously there's been in the past, you know, political, I guess, uh, unrest in a way, you know, to do with um, communism and everything like that. And um, it was interesting to hear, you know, how the gospel was spread during those times and uh, when they weren't allowed Bibles and it was illegal to be, you know, a Christian and things like that. So, um, yeah, that was really good. Mm -hmm. So you and Jonathan got married and I think you were in Edinburgh for a year after that, is that right? Yeah, um, so we got married in the summer of 2019 um, and... Yeah, we were in Edinburgh still uh, until, well, until coronavirus hit, really, <laughs> um, in the end of March. So uh, we had, I guess, only really six, seven months um, in Edinburgh when we first got married. Mm -hmm. And you were involved in a, a church there in Edinburgh? Yes, uh, we, we were involved with um, Gorgie Gospel Hall in Edinburgh. Um, which was great and um, they there was a lot of people our age and um, there which was nice um lots of student I guess student age people uh but as well as that um you know in a church it's you know you can't just have students or young people you know you've got to have older uh people uh who are older and wiser <laughs> and to help and teach um and it was great to have um, the elders there and all the um, older people um, and yeah it was uh, a nice uh, church family there um, in Gorgie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then after that you, you moved to Fife? Yeah so um, Jonathan um, has, uh, has a job uh, based in Fife so we moved through uh, we were going to move through anyway um, when uh, just after uh, coronavirus happened, but then, you know, it all happened. So we moved through a little bit earlier than expected. But um, yeah, so obviously now we're uh, with the Arnott Gospel Hall, uh, you know, regularly. Um, and that's uh, been really nice this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's been great to hear your story, Brianna. Um, so just just lastly, then um, we'll just ask you. Um, so you've been a Christian since you were ten. Um, has God ever let you down? No, uh, certainly not. I mean, I have definitely let God down uh, in points, but um, no, He is faithful and. Um, it's just a great comfort to um, know that, you know, he's going to be, he's faithful to me and he's going to be faithful to me throughout the rest of uh, my life. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks very much for telling us your story. And thanks everyone else for, for listening today. If you have any questions at all, then get in touch with us on our Facebook page. And we'll be back next week. With another video, so please join us again then. Thanks for watching.